Welcome to the beginning of Holy Week and the story of Jesus' suffering and death in Matthew's Gospel. On this journey, we will come face to face with the darkness that lurks in the human heart, but even more so with the radiance of God's loving heart. We know the story all too well. Jealousy can poison lives and relationships and lead to desperate measures, even violence. Companions, friends and family can betray each other and fracture the most intimate of relationships. Fear can overcome the human heart and send us running and hiding for safety while abandoning important challenges. It is sobering to face these temptations in our own hearts. It is also challenging to make our way with some grace in a world where these realities can touch us each day. The challenge for us all is to live faithfully, gracefully, lovingly in this sea of broken relationships, despair and violence. With grace, we give others hope as we emerge from these dark waters. Jesus experiences the effects of others' jealousy, betrayal and fear so deeply it leaves him hanging on a tree, dying, but with one very important addition. He has walked amid this world's darkness with integrity, fidelity and grace. He comes to the cross with utter human frailty, but also, and most importantly, with a faithful heart giving himself completely to his Father. Jesus is the faithful one who continues to listen to his Father and gives his whole life for the world, even as the world turns against him. It is this loving offering of himself to the Father for the world that finally defeats darkness, death and sin. His death ushers in God's radical healing of our broken world. The obedience and self-giving of Jesus does not deny him the struggle of his humanity. He fears death and asks to be delivered from it, and on the cross endures deep anguish, feeling abandonment. Bearing all this, his heart still cries out, My God, in the loving surrender of the faithful Son. Matthew goes on to report some strange and unusual events that immediately follow the death of Jesus. In a way, these events are part of God's response to the death of the faithful son, Jesus. They reveal that Jesus was never abandoned on the cross. The Father is at work in and through the death of Jesus. The darkness at noon, the shadowing of the earth, and the shattering of rocks were Jewish signs associated with the end times and God's power. Now, with the death of Jesus, these signs indicate that history has entered a new and definitive moment. This is God's moment as never before. The veil of the temple is torn apart, the Jewish cult has ended, and the way to God is now open to all, not just those of Jewish faith. Matthew has a keen eye for the outsiders and Gentiles who can now make their way to God and God's people. It is the Roman centurion and the other soldiers who crucified Jesus who can see these cosmic signs and make a confession of faith in Jesus, the Son of God. From the cross, God's heart has opened completely so all may find their way into his kingdom. Finally, in a most poignant moment, as Jesus breathes his last in loving sacrifice, the holy ones who have died breathe again with new life. As Jesus is raised to new life in the resurrection, so all are called to a life with God beyond sin and death. What transforms the story of human darkness and sin is not the power of Jesus, but the loving humility and self-giving that takes him to the cross. There we see a God who empties himself to gather in all his children.